Greeks used the Trojan horse to get into the city of Troy. So is that the Trojan horse? It's not the real no. one. Which this one is, is this? the one they used in the movie. To, in the movie. And what's the movie called? <laughs> Troy. Troy. <Yeah. laughs> Before my time is done, I will look down on your corpse and smile. Hi guys, let's talk some education. We educate our kids differently. Why? Of course, we love what Nelson Mandela once said. You know, education is the most powerful weapon in the world you can use to change this world. But we think that the schools at the moment are educating the kids in the wrong way. They are educating the kids inside four walls and they are preparing the kids for the past instead of the future. We think the world is changing very fast. It's changing to a decentralized world. A lot of people maybe will live a decentralized nomad life like we are living again. So you need to prepare the kids for this. Why should we stuff the heads of our children full with history and mostly negative history when we can teach them about the beauty of life and the beauty of, of the world? Why don't we teach our kids meditation and yoga and all the things that they need to create a beautiful mindset to, um, to face all the problems we as a world have. We need to change the world, so we need to change the, 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 the way we educate our kids because we need to prepare them for a different world. Blockchain and Bitcoin is going to change the world tremendously. It's going to have a huge social, economical impact on many people's lives. And that's what we need to educate the kids on, to be creative and to find their passion and to use this and to become happy. We need to teach them and educate them that accumulating wealth is not the goal in life, to become happy, you know? So this is why we educate our kids in a different way. How do we educate our kids? We educate our kids in a very practical way. So we take them outside. We take them to see beautiful buildings like the one you see behind me and tell them about the history of Spain in that way. Um, we show them the problems we are facing in this world and how blockchain or Bitcoin could change those uh, problems for the better, you know? Um, of course, we need to teach them reading and writing and calculating, but this can also be done in a practical way. If we go to Thailand, they need to calculate how much we need to pay in a restaurant. They can calculate it back, tie back, but back to Euro, to Bitcoin, to all kinds of currencies, um, you know? And that's calculation as well. Uh, it's just living life that teaches them a lot of things. And of course, we need we, we let them read books and we let them read one pages and uh, we, we give them like Wikipedia pages about uh, successful people in life, what they did, what they achieved. And so yes, they, they learn about history and, and biology and all those things, but in a practical way. We will visit an elephant, you know, and touch the elephant and wash the elephant and feed the elephant. And then after a day spending with this elephant, we will ask the kids to write a one pager to say it in crypto terms about this elephant. What did they feel? What do you think? What did they learn? So it's a different way of educating people, kids, but it's outside, not inside the box. We want to teach them to think outside of the box. And what is a better way to teach your kid to think outside of the box and if you do it in nature and outside, you know, of that box, that school box, you know? Why we are the Bitcoin family? Because we think Bitcoin is changing the world tremendously. It will have a huge social impact. Like I said many times, Bitcoin kids of the future. I think at Bitcoin and blockchain community, we need to start focusing on those kids, you know? That's exactly why you, now watching this video, are using a bank account. Because when you were born, your father received the letter of the bank. You need to start opening a bank account and we give you 25 euros as a saving for your kid, for the future. And when you were 12, you get you, you received the letter that you were receiving now this beautiful card, which you could use at ADM machines or stores to pay um, with this beautiful bank account. So this is exactly how the banks got you into the monetary system. Now we need to prepare kids for the Bitcoin future, you know? So how do we get kids into the Bitcoin world? By when they are born, giving them a Bitcoin wallet, some Bitcoin funds on it, when they are 12, giving them a Bitcoin card, which they can spend everywhere in the world, or a Bitcoin wallet on their phone, and then just, you know, include them in this type of monetary system, in the Bitcoin monetary system, the decentralized monetary system, in the system where external parties can never um, interrupt your transaction or even take your transaction. So I think we need to start, you know, educating kids 
because they have the future and they are used already to a digital lifestyle and tokenizations in games. So they will be using Bitcoin way more than we are at the moment. So let's just give them some Bitcoin wallets and prepare them uh, to spend it, you know, and teach them how.